feeling like we aren't good enough or worthy enough to do, to pursue, to achieve something that we want is probably one of the biggest drivers for self-sabotaging behavior that I see in my practice. And I get it. I really do. This is an ingrained belief for so many of us. It is the way our society and our culture is largely set up to make us feel. And it is one of the reasons that I delayed for years setting up my own business and my own practice. In this tapping session, we are going to gently explore where the belief might be stemming from in your personal experience and release it through tapping. Hi, if we've never met before, my name is Liz and I am a certified EFT practitioner with a background in holistic nutrition and I help you gently release self-sabotaging behavior and anxiety through the magic of tapping and nervous system regulation so that you can finally feel confident in your full potential. Feeling unworthy or not enough is unlikely something that you have developed the belief for overnight and therefore is unlikely to clear in a single tapping session. Therefore, this session is designed to help you relax and calm the nervous system so that you can reflect on where this belief might have stemmed from and gently be able to process and release it with tapping. It is likely that this belief has many supporting events and places where you have learned and reinforced that you are not worthy or you are not good enough. Because of this, I recommend having a piece of paper or a journal nearby so that you can jot down whatever is coming up for you during the meditation and during the tapping session so that you can come back and clear those things out later. Remembering that as we clear out residual emotional attachment to past events and memories that may be supporting this belief of I am not good enough or I am unworthy, we are literally rewiring the brain around this belief. With time, you will no longer have to force feeling confident or force feeling worthy. It just will be, but it does take time. This will be a little bit of a different tapping session for me. If you've done any of my previous videos, you're generally repeating statements after I say them. And for the most part, this will be purely a guided meditative exercise. So after we get through the initial round of opening statements, I will gently invite you to close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you to do so, just so that you can reflect on the prompts that I am giving you. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. Just find a comfortable position, whether that's seated or even lying down. You don't need to see me as long as you know where the points are. Taking a deep breath in and out. And I invite you to start this session by saying to yourself, either out loud or in your own mind, I am unworthy. Or, I am not enough, whichever resonates and feels more true to you. Good. Noticing if maybe this belief is tied to a specific aspect of your life, or if it's just more of an overarching belief system in yourself. Uh, an example of a specific attachment might be, I am not good enough for a loving partner, or I am unworthy of success. Just notice whatever might be coming up for you right now and trust the process. Now, repeating that same statement to yourself if it's gotten more specific or if it's simply just, I am not enough or I am unworthy. Either is fine, there is no wrong answer here. I want you to rate the believability of this statement on a scale of zero to 10. So again, this is a little different than what we've done before. But what that means is how true does this statement feel for you in your body, in your being right now? If it feels 100% true, then you would rate that a 10. If it feels kind of true, but kind of not true, maybe you would rate it a five. And if it doesn't feel at all true, congratulations, you're probably miles ahead of the rest of us, but that would be a zero. For this beginning part, I do invite you to repeat after me again, out loud or in your head, either is fine. We're gonna start at the side of the hand. Even though I feel unworthy of my desires, I choose to accept myself even with these feelings. Even though I often don't feel good enough and I feel the truth of this statement in my body, I am open to the idea that I can let this belief go one more time at the side of the hand even though it feels true to me right now that I am not enough just as I am that I am unworthy 
I give my body permission to relax now. Great job. Moving to the top of the head now. And for this portion of the meditation or the tapping practice, you don't have to repeat after me. Again, just reflect on whatever is coming up for you as I guide you through this session. If it feels safe and comfortable for you to do so, I do invite you to close your eyes. I will guide you verbally through the different tapping points as we move along. And we're just going to start by gently exploring where this belief of I am not enough or I am unworthy might have come from. Again, just noticing whatever is already coming up for us when we say that statement to ourselves. Eyebrow. Maybe you know on a conscious and logical level that you are actually enough. But when you try to tell yourself this and make yourself believe it, it just feels less and less true. Side of the eye. Maybe even other people have told you how worthy you are, how important you are, how you are enough. But there is a part of you that doesn't want to or is unable to accept and believe this. Under the eye. Maybe you've spent a lifetime beating yourself up about all the ways you haven't been good enough, not smart enough not attractive enough, not athletic enough. Under the nose. With a lifetime of reinforcing this belief through comparison, through perfectionism, through people pleasing, it has likely become deeply ingrained. Under the mouth and as a result may feel at this moment in time just impossible to let go. Collarbone. I invite you to take a few deep breaths here on the collarbone point and just notice all of the ways you might have been telling yourself that you are not enough or that you are unworthy Under the arm, where did you learn to believe that you are not enough? Wrist. Was it a certain situation? Was it from something that was said or done to you? Was it through a relationship, maybe with your parents or a loved one or even a romantic partnership? Moving back to the top of the head. Just making note of whatever's coming up for you right now. Feel free to pause this video if you need to jot something down. Eyebrow. Knowing that in this moment, right here and right now, that you are safe. You are safe to feel whatever might be surfacing, to allow yourself to acknowledge the truth of how you are feeling and how you have been feeling. You are safe to be vulnerable right now. Side of the eye. Just acknowledging ourselves, even with the parts of us that we maybe don't like or wish that we could change. Under the eye. Breathing into that now. Maybe now reflecting on how this belief that you are not enough has impacted your life. Under the mouth. Impacted your decisions, the choices you've made, the way you feel about yourself and about others. Collarbone. Again, staying on the collarbone for a few moments just to take some deep breaths and to just sit with whatever might be coming up. 
I know that this can be heavy sometimes. And if you're ever feeling overwhelmed or like it's too much, please feel free to stop this video at any time. Just taking some deep breaths on this point. And we're just noticing, not judging, allowing whatever wants to come up to come up. Okay, moving on to the underarm. Also allowing ourselves to sit with a tolerable level of discomfort. Acknowledging that we are bringing uncomfortable truths to the surface, and that can be really hard sometimes, I know. Wrist. But it can also be one of the most powerful acts of self-love that you can give yourself. And we've all learned that shutting out, distracting, shoving down doesn't work in the long term. But sitting with and acknowledging and feeling the things when we're ready to do so allows our body to fully process them and to release them to make space for how we would prefer to feel, what we would prefer to believe. You're doing a great job, we're almost done. Moving to the top of the head. And just like I mentioned earlier, we're now gonna shift our focus in this round to how we would prefer to feel, how we want to feel. What would we like to replace this belief of I am not enough or I am not worthy with? Eyebrow. So just reflect on that now. What would you prefer to believe in place of I am not enough? Side of the eye. Don't worry if it doesn't feel believable just yet. It's perfectly okay. We are just making a suggestion to our subconscious mind now that we've done some tapping and we've calmed the nervous system and the body down. Under the eye. Maybe you would like to believe that you are confident, that you are enough, that you are more than worthy and deserving of everything you dream. Whatever that statement is for you, I invite you to say it to yourself right now. Under the nose. There might be some resistance coming up for you. Perfectly normal, common and expected even. Under the mouth. But I'd like you to just notice that resistance for a moment. Does it have a voice? And if so, whose voice is it in? You might be surprised to learn that it is not your voice but someone else's. Collarbone. Acknowledging now that there is a part of you that wants to and does believe this statement, but likely there's also a part of you that doesn't believe it. Both of these parts can exist at the same time. Choosing now just for this moment, to focus on the part of you that believes that you are worthy and that you are enough. What would this person do? Who would they be? How would they talk? How would they act without the belief that they are not good enough? Under the arm, just noticing how this makes you feel and whatever might be coming up as a result. wrist. Anchoring in this future version of you right now. Take a deep breath. Let it out. And gently stop tapping. Great job. Now I know that this is one of those things that probably had a lot coming up for you. If not, no worries. But if you were experiencing a lot of memories coming up or old emotions or just there was a whole bunch of stuff. I encourage you very strongly to write this down while it's still fresh in your mind. 
If it was a specific memory, you can find a tapping session and take that memory through that session to clear the emotional charge, the residual emotional attachment to this memory because it is supporting this belief of I am not enough, I am unworthy. Also, if you had specific resistance coming up, if you were trying to picture yourself, who would I be? What would I say? What would I think? But you were feeling resistant to that idea, that mental image, that picture in your mind, tap through that resistance to clear it out as well. This is how we slowly chip away at a very ingrained internal belief system that we are no longer feeling is serving us. You are literally creating new neural networks and pathways in the brain. So please, please be patient with yourself. This cannot be rushed. It will take time, but I promise you it can be done. So please come back to this tapping meditation whenever you need it. If you have any questions, I'm always available in the comments below and I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Good luck. I already said that and happy tapping.